This is a view which our predecessors had 2,500 years ago. And we know that because if you look at the hill behind me, you can see that it's been carved, it's been sculpted with trenches. Uh, it's the British camp, also known as the Herefordshire Beacon, which is a bastion at one end of the Malvern Hills. In about 500, 400 BC, the ancient Britons moved up there, fortified it with those trenches, just using hand tools. We'll see later on what a formidable fortress they made, uh, and used it as, as um, not just a, a defensive place, but their actual their town. So they'd have looked out from the windows um, or the holes <laughs> in their huts at the view uh, we're going to see today. I'll never forget this view myself because I first saw it at the age of seven. I was sent away to school in this part of the world when I was seven. And I remember looking out at the window of my dormitory and seeing this extraordinary hill shaped like a very common analogy these days is a wedding cake going down in the tears, but to me as a little boy it was more like a jelly. The Malvern Hills are carpeted with wildflowers and that in turn brings a wealth of insects and that in turn brings a, a large number of interesting birds. But I just spotted this clump of um, milkmaid flowers here which um, attract the orange tip butterfly, one of the first butterflies of spring. The orange tip, a beautiful little butterfly with orange tips to the male's four wings. It's a most uh, attractive butterfly and um, a sign that summer's on its way. It's lovely walking country, the Malvern Hills, and very easy walking country too. I'm just wearing my outdoor shoes, and for older people or anybody with a disability, you can actually get a car um, very close to the top of the spine of hills. There are plenty of car parks. The Malvern Hills conservators do a marvellous job of looking after this landscape, and it's all open to us. Uh, you could walk anywhere, and it's all beautiful. Here we are at the foot of the path up to the top of the British camp. It's just over a thousand feet high so it qualifies as a mountain but we're already within about 500 feet of the summit here. It's, uh, it's only a short climb up. Is this a regular outing for you? Yes, it is. It's an attempt to at least get some exercise and take her up the hill. We, we, we call it the British camp, we think of it as a prehistoric um, hill fort but, uh, but then it was, it was occupied later on. By the Normans, yes, they put a watchtower on the top and the interesting thing I always think is that the time between the Normans and the ancient Britons who built it is longer than the time between the Normans and us. But when we think of it, of course, we think of them as much closer historically. I mean, in, in terms of technology and everything, they far work. Yes. But, yes. but it's a huge time between the Norman use and the ancient British yes, use. Yes, isn't that interesting? We lump them together as ancient history. Yeah. But actually, as you say, we're, we're closer to the Normans than, than they were to the ancient Brits. Yes, who originally built it. Oh. Where Dave Pearson and Bella, his dog, have gone, and where that couple are just uh, going up now, that's the top. It's not very far, but we'll just stop here for a minute because you can see from here the scale of this earthwork. And bear in mind, these were people who were using hand tools and not very good hand tools either. Uh, it must have taken an age and a lot of them. My school was just down here, and in the 1930s, the famous poet W.H. Auden was a teacher there, and he wrote a celebrated poem about how they used to sleep outside the teachers uh, during the summer. We had to learn it off by heart, and bits have stuck in my mind, including a section uh, which goes, happy this point in time and space is chosen as my working place, where the sexy airs of summer, the green fields and the bare arms, and the pleasant drives through a land of farms are good to a newcomer. And uh, it, I remember that feeling myself, being a newcomer to this beautiful part of the world from the industrial north and thinking, wow. Oh, great. That's the summit. I wouldn't want to be a Roman soldier doing that last bit. It really is steep. Um, it really is a proper fortification. It really is a most amazing view from here. And what's extra nice about this landscape is that it's a mixture of the natural beauty here which is self-evident but also what man what we have done to improve it by sculpting this hill with all these trenches and dikes and ditches around it um, it's a, a truly formidable combination